Uh, Bob, can you tell us a little bit about your passion for winemaking? I feel so lucky. I can't imagine doing anything I would enjoy more uh, than make, growing grapes and making wine. And, and when you say winemaking, to me, it starts in the vineyard, and this is really where you have to spend some time if you're going to make some great wines. But uh, it's, um, you know, it's like a ki I'm a kid in a candy store every day when I go to work. It's uh, just taking something from the soil and something that you can kind of s style to some degree. Uh, it's, you know, different than growing potatoes. Or, you know, growing grapes, is, it's, it's pretty cool knowing that that's something you're going to turn into this magic. You know, growing up in a strong Italian family, you know, I was drinking wine and water at five years old, albeit it was a couple drops of wine then and gradually increased. But I had a love of wine, you know, just growing up in an Italian family. So it's been a lot of fun, and I hopefully it'll never stop. Your best memory in the yeah. wine business? My dad and I wanted to do something from the area of Italy where my family was from, Tuscany. And so we were one of the first to kind of plant Sangiovese grape, the Sangiovese Grosso clone in Napa Valley. And, the, and uh, one of the best memories I have is my father and I beating out Atlas Peak with their first uh, Sangiovese, beating them out by two weeks in the marketplace. So we were kind of one of the first California wineries recognized for making Sangiovese. And again, it's because of where we, my family was from. And Dad and I, and I'm so proud of Dad. As a father, he's my hero. He's a great partner. But we were on the cover of the New York Times Sunday Magazine with the release of our first Sangiovese. So coming back to Atlas Peak and making Sangiovese for them or, or a Tuscan, Super Tuscan is pretty exciting.